right guys, these intros are getting more and more ridiculous. So please drop the video like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you enjoyed that, I'm sure Greg did an amazing job as he always does. It was fun, we had a good time. I probably wasted 20 bucks on this, but Captain P Science is in the building. Only I can turn a video of Captain America into a P Science infomercial, but you know what? It's just a skill that I have and I embrace it. So tomorrow we are going to be trying the Captain America diet that is Mr. Chris Evans. I think it's going to be a good time. So you guys are in for a good one. Like I said, please drop the video like if you end up enjoying it and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. All right guys, so today Today, we are going to try out Captain America's diet, the diet that Chris Evans was following for the movie. And you'll see here that this breakfast is going to be a lot like the breakfast that I would personally choose. So I think I'm going to enjoy this one quite a bit. Now I have to be honest with you, I have not ever seen any Captain America movies, any, I don't know if it's Marvel, Avengers, I don't know too much about it at all. So I read up on it a little bit. People hate when I say that, but whatever. So this is what they call the Captain America porridge bowl or something of that nature, I believe. Yeah, Captain America porridge combo. And I, I don't know where this was written because they say you start with one sachet of oatmeal. I don't know, but I'm here in America. So sachet, I'm gonna say is a cup. Is that a, is that a fair assessment? So a cup from my years of doing this, I know is 80 grams. So what I'm going to do is mix up 80 grams of oatmeal. They said he added almond milk, which typically always add water, so this will be a nice change of pace here. So that ends up being about a cup of almond milk, and I'll put this in the microwave for three minutes, and I'll be right back with you guys. Would you like some oatmeal, buddy? Would you like some oatmeal? No, Dad, I just want some treats. I don't know, guys, I personally think oatmeal cooks up better with water. It just doesn't fluff up as much as it does when I typically make it. So you guys can let me know in the comments down below, maybe I did something wrong with almond milk, but thankfully he adds protein to his oatmeal because you guys know I'm Captain PE Science over here. So we are going to add one scoop of the cake pop flavor. This is so freaking good with oatmeal. And you guys know you can save 15% using Travis on any PE Science product going to PEScience.com. So definitely do not sleep on that. I think I'm actually going to end up adding more liquid or should I get crazy? Cause he always also has a yogurt with this, so can I add yogurt to oatmeal? Maybe it'll add some creaminess. Look at that, look at that. I think I still need some more milk, but let's simply stir it up here. You see this, cameraman? Ugh. I don't think that smells that great, honestly. But you guys know me and Greek yogurt, we have kind of a love-hate relationship, so I'll give you guys a taste test, of course. We're gonna add a fair amount of cinnamon to that guy. And then last but not least, we're gonna top this with the banana. Gotta get some healthy fruits in here. Before I taste test it for you guys, we're gonna have Gordon Ramsay over here give you guys his thoughts. You like it? How is it, buddy? Give it a ranking. I can always tell by his eyes what he ranks it, so. Well, he keeps going back for more. You like that? Yeah. I'm gonna give that a 8.24 out of 10. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. So Megan was really making fun of me for putting yogurt in this, and she said no one would ever do that. So please, someone in the comments down below, tell me that you put yogurt in your oatmeal. Can't be that bad, Alfie loved it. I'm not gonna go as far to say that it enhanced the oatmeal at all. Like, I still prefer just oatmeal and the protein powder. I eat that every single day. But it's not terrible. It's not terrible. It just adds a little bit different consistency but the taste I would say is a little bit more sour if anything. So probably wouldn't do it again. But you know, we're all about efficiency over here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Cameraman refuses to be seen with me. She does not want people to know that we are an item. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, I get it. An item. <laughs> yeah, an item. So Breakfast, delicious, like I mentioned, I love oatmeal, especially when you add protein powder to it. To me, it's one of the most perfect combinations of all time. So what you'll notice about this diet is that it's pretty simplistic. He's just sticking to the basics, which I always am an advocate for. So as we move on through the other meals, you'll be able to see nothing too crazy. I know the if it fits your macros thing is really popular, but he kind of just sticks to an old school bro type mentality, which I think when you're trying to get in tip top shape, especially for something like a movie role, is probably gonna be in your best interest. I am not going to lie to you guys, I straight up passed out 
after that oatmeal. I would say that is the downfall about having that pre-workout. For me, that is a little bit heavy. You guys know I like to stick with something a little bit lighter, like rice cakes with some honey on top. That way I'm still getting carbs, but it just doesn't sit in your stomach like oatmeal. Typically, I will save that for before bed, so I go to bed full. I love it, but pre-workout, probably not going to be for me. So just some words of caution there for you guys. So. I am going to try to get a little bit better pep in my step. Obviously, the world is just going crazy right now with this coronavirus. I'm trying to be very, very safe. Um, it's probably not the best idea to go to the gym, but I don't know if I'm ready to give it up just yet. I'm sh I could imagine that they'll probably close them within the next few days or a few weeks, maybe, if things continue to get worse. But for now, I'm just going to be very, very cautious. And one of the things that Chris Evans talks about with his supplementations I that I thought was interesting were BCAA. So I wanted to share my pre-workout nutrition with you guys. And you know I hate product placement, right? But, but seriously. BCAAs are one of those things that I use mostly for flavor and also just for kind of insurance. So these amino acids, they taste amazing. Sour green apple is my favorite. Now these are not necessary. In the article I read, he talks about these being for muscle building, building up the muscle blocks, protein synthesis, all of that. Well, it sounds great and I would love this to be like, oh, go buy this, you should have 15%, which if you're gonna buy it, I suggest you do. But they are not needed at all. It's not a requirement by any means. I think back in the day, it was a little bit of bro science that said, hey, you need to have these during your workout. Not really the case, especially if you're getting adequate protein, which hopefully everyone watching this video should be. But if it's a supplement that you guys like to take, like myself, I suggest the sour green apple because what I'll do is I will pair that with the sour green apple high volume, which is just a non-stimulant pre-workout. No caffeine in here, just enhances the pump that I love. It tastes phenomenal. And then if I'm not drinking this guy right here, this P Science Select Cafe that has caffeine already in there. Uh, you guys know I love that. It makes coffee taste delicious. I will mix that in with some prolific or some high volume, add a little bit of creatine, put that in a shaker cup, and I am good to go. But for now, I'm just gonna drink this coffee, head off to the gym. I'm not even gonna bring the camera or anything because I am really trying to get in and out, and I will check back in with you guys at the next meal. So we are gonna jump straight into lunch. Now, we are supposed to be making some chicken gyros or gyros. I don't know what the correct pronunciation of that is, but if you've been to a supermarket in the last two weeks, you would know everything is picked over, and I really don't wanna stress about that. There's some crazy times going on in the world, so we are going to improvise. So I did get some chicken. Luckily, we have not sold out of that quite yet. I'm supposed to be using some Greek yogurt tzatziki. This guy really likes Greek yogurt. High in protein, I get that. For me, the flavor is just not it. But didn't have anything to make with that, so I have the Greek yogurt, but that's about it. So instead, I'm gonna be using hummus, and I didn't even have the gyro, uh, the bread that they use. So I'm gonna be using these Joseph's lavish breads. These things are great if you've never had them. For this entire thing, which let me show you guys how big this is, you're looking at about 100 calories. So I like to use these for wraps during the week. So I'm going to try to make that into somewhat of a euro using this, you know, doing the best we can over here. We got meal prep for the week. We got a lot of stuff going on right now. All right, guys, so I kind of got my bootleg gyro over here. I did use some Mediterranean seasonings with the chicken. We melted a little bit of cheese, got the roasted red hummus. I'm gonna try to close that up a little bit better with my fork. It's not the best thing ever. You can tell it's a double decker, but we were making do with what we had. For meal prep, what I have is some lean ground turkey and some cauliflower rice medley, one of my favorite things to meal prep. So that will be for this week, and I'll bite into this and let you guys know what I think. All right, so I tried to fold this thing almost like a Hot Pocket type of deal, and I, I think I failed miserably, as you guys can see. So. Let me actually eat around the edges so I can get into the good stuff. Honestly, lavish bread with just red hummus. Not a bad combination. All right, here is the bite that we were looking for. You know, that's actually quite delicious. I'm pretty surprised. Chicken can get pretty bland pretty quickly. So I'll put the seasonings I use on top of the screen. This is what Megan uses when she cooks this dinner. It's pretty great. And I really like the thinly sliced chicken breast. I think I prefer chicken thighs still, just have a little bit more juice to it. But I can definitely eat this on a consistent basis. 
think one of the interesting things about this diet is that it doesn't appear to be a whole lot of food, so it's not really a true bulking diet. I would say more of like a lean gaining, if anything. So if I had to guess when I just look, just looking at it, I would say from like 23 to 2600 calories, which for most people would be right at that right at that set point where they're probably not gaining too much weight, but probably still being able to feed their muscles. He did mention that he has some protein in between his meals, so that will obviously increase the calorie intake. So I'm going to be having the fudge brownie protein bar just to switch it up a little bit. And you know, Captain Protein is not going to miss out on an opportunity to plug. I said Captain Protein, Captain PES, whatever you want to call me. I thought that costume was pretty awesome, to be honest. I'm gonna have this. And then we'll probably just get into some more food. Not the most exciting video ever, but you know, you're supposed to really be on a lockdown for the most part. So I'm trying to be safe out here, guys. Hey, buddy. Want to say hi to the rich homies? Say hi, rich homies. <laughs> so I went out and stocked up on some stuff, you know, trying to get ready for whatever is to come. And Megan is doing her, uh, her Sunday night hobby, which is organizing the pantry. So I'll let you guys know what it looks like, but here's just some pickups. The Cheerios are actually for Alfie. Apparently those are good for dogs. Um, I'm running a little bit low on the Peace Science protein bars. I'll probably have to get a few more boxes since I go through at least one or two a day. Rice cakes, of course, we got some crackers. These things right here, literally crack. You put those in peanut butter, RIP to your macros. And then we got some stuff over there. And then uh, I think uh, Megan is just hard at work. So we appreciate you, cameraman. All right, guys, nothing too exciting here. We got about a cup of rice and about six to eight ounces of chicken. Pretty bro, as you guys can see. The only thing I'm missing are some peppers that he typically incorporates. That's the one thing I would say about this diet is there's really no vegetables, which doesn't make any sense to me. I would definitely incorporate some more greens, but I am going to be adding some of this sugar-free barbecue sauce to this chicken, which is just so delicious. So for me, eating this type of food, not so bad. I think most people would probably get very bored of it very quickly. Alfie, on the other hand though, he was ready to eat this whole thing. We just started watching a show called The Good Place on Netflix. It is it's super cheesy, but it's a good show. If you guys have any other recommendations, sounds like we might be watching a lot of Netflix for the next few weeks. So let me know. I'm always looking for a good show. Ever since Megan and I moved in together, I've been uh, quite the binge watcher. But anyway, today's day of eating left a little bit to be desired. It was pretty bland. I mean, it was fine. Nothing wrong with it at all. I'm a bit skeptical that that's what he actually ate to get ready for this movie role. You let me know what you all think in the comments down below. So what I'm gonna do is end my Sunday, just like every other Sunday, with some fat and weird cookies. And here is what we're going to do. We're gonna have all the, new, the three new flavors, but I think they're only available for this week, so by the time you guys see this, I don't believe you can actually buy these, but hopefully they bring them back. I don't even know what they're naming this one. It's the Big Booty Dough, but ch with chocolate and sprinkles. I can already tell you this will be my favorite one. This one right here is like the oatmeal cream pie. If you've ever had like a little Debbie oatmeal cream pie, that is what this is. Oh my gosh. Are you seeing this? You seeing that cream? That cream is a dream right there. And then this right here is called the BBC. Yes, you heard that correctly, the BBC. Take that for what it's worth, guys. Look at that. So it has like M&Ms in there, I think. Maybe white chocolate chips, sprinkles. Oh my gosh. Is that cookie dough in there? I believe so. I'm gonna just tell you guys, this one's a 9.947 out of 10. Please, fat and weird, bring this one back. We're just gonna keep it rolling one take. So we got the oatmeal cream pie over here. It's kind of falling apart, but that's all right. I know you want one. I thought that one was gonna be better because I love the Little Debbies. That's good, don't get me wrong. But I just thought it was gonna be phenomenal. So I'd give it a 7.942 out of 10. And then the BBC, this one has, BBC stands for Brad's birthday cookie, I believe. By the way, I think this has pretzels and something else in there. Oh yeah, that's a good cookie. I'm gonna give it an 8.862 out of 10. I'll figure it And I'm sorry, by the time you guys are watching these, they're not gonna be on the website. Their other cookies will be, they release every Sunday. <laughs> At 9 p.m. Central Time, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'd have the real-time updates for this, so be sure to do that. But we're definitely gonna be able to polish off these cookies, no problem. And that is going to be the end of the video, Captain America's Diet. I really hope this wasn't too boring for you. I felt like it was just like meal to meal to meal, wasn't able to get out and do much. But like I said, with everything going on in the world, it's hard for me to really focus 
or on YouTube when it just seems like there's so many other important things happening. It's kind of a scary time uh, in, in our lives. I would say most of us are experiencing some things for the very first time and it can be a bit frightening, a lot of uncertainties, but hopefully these videos can act as some escapism for all of you, even though this video won't be coming out for two weeks, but I'm sure it's probably gonna be even more crazy than, than it is right now. But I'm praying for you all. I hope everyone is doing all right. If you're in Raleigh, North Carolina, you guys need anything, never hesitate to reach out to me. But all in all, I just appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I look forward to talking to you all next time.